Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Saber Ship. Hmm, sounds something like Beat Saber. <laughs> uh, it's a music rhythm game released on the Steam Store August 26, 2022. An Oculus Rift exclusive on the Steam Store. We always love those. Uh, it normally retails for $25. I received a free Steam key to review this game and I'm testing it out on the Meta Quest 2 using Link Cable. Um, like I said, this is a music rhythm game. It's very similar to Beat Saber, but it does have its own quirks. And actually, I'm still not 100% positive on all the mechanics available. I saw the store page video and some of the gameplay looked different. Um, there, there's like more movement. Um, I, I assume that stuff that gets unlocked later on that I haven't been able to unlock yet. Let's show off some of the gameplay. I am, I'm on level C, engine balanced, aerial ships heavy, and target core. Let's go. This is Freak Forge. So some of these ships you only have to touch, and others you actually have to strike perpendicular. Uh, there's not very many settings available. You can adjust height, and you can choose language. So these you can touch. These you have to strike. I wish there was more visual variety between them so you could easily tell. Sometimes I have a hard time telling if I have to touch or strike. Not that it matters too much. It does feel like you need very long arms for this game. I'm average height, so if I'm having trouble reaching, I can imagine someone you know, who's shorter than me having trouble reaching all the ships. We haven't seen any ships yet where you have to hit them perpendicular. You do have to uh, hit those. Uh, the song quality really does vary quite a bit. Uh, I found some songs that I do like. You know, this is one song that I like, so... That's why I put this one on versus some of the other songs. Uh, it seems to be a real mixed bag. Maybe you'll find something you enjoy. This sounds like a Beat Saber song. Okay, this is the weird part here that doesn't always seem to work. So you have to like move the hull of the ship. And it doesn't always work. So you see there how I moved the hull of the ship, but it doesn't always work. Like sometimes I try to move it, move it, and it doesn't move. See, it struck my ship there, and I tried to move it, but I just... Okay, there I got it. But the other time, I just couldn't move it fast enough.
Okay, there. All right. <laughs> so that was level C. Balance, heavy, and core. Now, I could try elite, but elite seems to be a little bit more difficult. Um, so <laughs> I'm keeping it with heavy. But let's go ahead and let's try level F. And if I go to level G, it says get a win from core F. So with core F, I still need to get a win. And I'm going to choose... You know what? I'm going to choose this song, Red Sky. I, I like that one. I beat it earlier, but not at this level. As you can see, there's a big difference in height between these. Like, I really have to reach down low and reach really high as well. Now, this game does start very easy. But the further you get, the more difficult it gets. And so, uh, at first I was able to play seated, but that's not no longer the case. It does feel like my arms are barely long enough, so I don't know that someone's shorter than me. Can play this game. So I don't know that children can play this game or, or females. You know, unless you have long arms and are at least average. Oh, okay, I, I didn't. Oh, man. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's try one more. And uh, I don't know if I want to try the F. Uh, by the way, I did play about an hour and a half earlier, so I was very tired and decided to do this review. Let's do one more real quick. Um, let's, let's change to Elite. And uh, let's keep it at... Uh, yeah, let's, let's keep it at F. And let me see, what else do we want to do? Uh, let's do a short song. Let's, do you remember? Okay. March forward. Let's do March forward. Just because it's the...
There are more, uh, there is more variety as far as the ships. There's some with, those are exploding ones. You have to hit the X one. You have to hit the X part for it to explode. Ah! Oh man, I was near the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is Saber Ship. It's a nice game, you know. Like I said before, VR music rhythm games is probably the strongest category of games in VR. You have to be great to stand out from the crowd. Because there's so many good ones, you know? This is just another good, solid VR music rhythm game. But it's not on the level of Beat Saber. It's not on the level of other top VR music rhythm games. And the problem with that is that it's a little too overpriced for what it is. So it's $25? That's only $5 less than Beat Saber. That does not make sense. It doesn't have the polish. It doesn't have the soundtrack. You know, the soundtrack isn't awful. You know, I, like I said, I found I found some music tracks that I did enjoy. But there were also a lot of duds in there. And like I said, I pretty much only played the songs I liked. There's two of them that I chose on purpose and one that I just chose at random. Uh, so, yeah. I think it's too overpriced for what it is. I think it's a solid one. But... Um... One thing that's wrong is the tutorial. It doesn't explain all the mechanics, and it seems like you're unlocking stuff, and new stuff comes along the way, but it's not really properly explained. And I know there's more game mechanics uh, that get unlocked later on. Like, there's, like, blocks that you have to move away from, you know, kind of like Beat Saber, where you have those blocks coming at you, and versus using your saber to crush them, you just have to dodge, you know, because you can't strike them. And I already showed the mechanic where you move the hull of your ship to avoid damage or to break them before they come uh, towards you. That mechanic doesn't work really well. Like sometimes I try to move the hull of the ship and it doesn't really work. So overall, I would give this a six out of 10. It's a solid VR music rhythm game, um, but you know, there's just so many better ones, you know, not just Beat Saber, um, Ragnarok, um, audio trip. Uh, so many, so many good ones. <laughs> um, you know, there, I, I, I could probably name 10 better ones than this one at the very least. I'm not going to do that because I'm so tired right now. <laughs> it's, it, I'm tired and it's pretty late. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's just much better VR music rhythm games. And this one doesn't really stand out in, in any way. The, the, the ship mechanic doesn't really work. I mean, it needs something more. Like, But like I said, I haven't unlocked everything, so I don't want to uh, try to sell this as like a full review. It's not. It's just an initial impression. It's what I've uh, played so far in, I'm going to say, less than two hours, but probably close to two hours. And it, it's just... It, it's solid, but it's just not great. And, you know, when... A VR veteran like me has several good VR music rhythm games. Why would you go to something you know that's a cut cut below? You know that's a step below. You know, like I said, this one really needs to stand out in some way to make it something memorable or special or, or a good variation from what the other music rhythm games. But it really doesn't. Uh, so far, it's been it it's been okay. It's been solid, 
but nothing great or memorable that would make me want to come back to it. Uh, like I said, maybe when you unlock more of the levels, maybe it does get more exciting. But so far, it's just been a clunky interface. And there's not very many options available other than the height and uh, choosing the language. And the soundtrack is okay, but it's not great. So, like I said, if I have to rate it, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. It's solid, but... It's kind of also too expensive for, for what it is, for the kind of uh, polish and uh, and content that it has. So, yeah, anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my initial impressions review for uh, Ship Saber, Saber Ship. And uh, if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.